Morning everyone, you may have seen my last video where I came to collect my brand new Lotus Exige 380 and what we're going to do today is do a full spec video. I am still in shock, I've been shaking this whole day basically about picking up this car because it's been my lifelong dream to own a super sports car, supercar, whatever you want to call it, a very cool car for me, it is an absolute dream to be able to do this, I still can't believe that this is now my, my car. And so I just wanted to share this experience with you. And I've had so many questions about the spec, what I was going to go for. You will have seen the overall images of what the spec is in the last video. But I thought I'd give you a full detail of all of my thinking behind it, the history behind the colors, and everything about the car. So let's kick it off. Let's try and do sort of like a one take thing of the entire spec, uh, spec, spec of the car. Good start. Just to kick it off, right here is a photo of Roger Moore in the Lotus Esprit, which was in For Your Eyes only the movie ages ago way back in 1981 so 36 years ago maths and that's the color we picked for the car so here's the car if we spin around here it is in what's called copper fire with mars gold details and a lot of carbon fiber all over the place the story behind this color is obviously it was in on that car in the movie and I basically just saw photos of the color online and thought that's the one. When I was picking, you guys sent in loads of specs. I was looking all over the place and I found this color. And then I had seen ages ago, way back on like 430 Scuderia Ferraris, um, a bunch of different uh, cars where they were red with gold wheels. And I thought, you know what, it would be really cool to match this color with gold, um, which had been done slightly on the car from your eyes only, but not really to this extent. So we found this ro uh, Mars gold, Color, color, blah, blah, blah. Okay, see I'm mixing up all my words because I'm so <laughs> excited and nervous. But yeah, so we thought we would mix it all together and it's worked out pretty well. So those are the base sort of colors of the car, the thing you'll notice the most. It's, a, it's, it's not a weird color, I mean it's different from anything I've seen before and I personally love it. Sort of under different lights it'll be a burgundy, then it'll switch to orange, copper, um, but I absolutely love it. It's got a really cool uh, metallic sort of um, glistening in the in the paint which is lovely and in the gold as well which is carried out through the interior but just while we're at the front I'll walk you through so obviously Lotus Exige 380 just to give you the technical specs three and a half litre Sport. Sport, oh yes Sport 380 is the uh, official name 380 horsepower from a three and a half litre supercharged V6 top speed close to 180 miles an hour so it's a quick quick I mean Three and a half seconds to not 60 is McLaren speed, Ferrari speed. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's absolutely mental. Um, and it does that because it weighs just over 1,100 kilos. As you can tell, I've been doing my homework. <laughs> um, so it's a, it's a light car. This particular one is in a manual gearbox, but we'll talk about that a bit more in the very near future. Yeah, so the car basically is a complete driver's car, which is one of the reasons I picked it, but also quite comfortable. So we will be able to use it sort of more daily than before. One small thing that I love, it's got central locking. Little things like yeah. that really make a big difference because they at least you have to lock every door one by one. This is central locking. Uh, things like cruise control, which is an option. But yeah, let's start off with the exterior spec, shall we? Let's do it. Well, first of all, we've got, this has a full carbon pack, this car. So you've got a carbon front splitter down here with a little rubber bit underneath it, just in case you hit a speed bump or anything like that. There's a rubber bit to protect the carbon front splitter because I dread to think how much this would be to replace. Um, you then got the Mars Gold pinstripe around the front as well, which looks really good, which is part of an accent package. So all of the gold you see around the car it's part of an accent package you get from Lotus where they add this color you want to sort of uh, put with your base color on the car. It's then got what is called here an access panel, which we're actually gonna get signed by the CEO of the company and a lot of people who worked on the car and I'll sign it underneath. But full carbon here and the carbon weave uh, is absolutely beautiful and it's got this line, I'm not sure if it'll come off on camera, which goes through the carbon weave and actually continues all the way through the carbon, all the way to the back of the car. So that continues, which is just a little detail which uh, you don't have on too many cars. Just to also walk you through a bit of how it works with Lotus when you order the car. So you place your deposit and then you spec the car out and if you want sort of the base colors and base spec, you just go through Lotus. But if you want something like this, which is a special color with special wheels and all of that sort of stuff, you go through Lotus Exclusive, which I keep comparing to McLaren's MSO, but that's because basically that's exactly what it is. You can go to them with anything 
and they will make it happen on your car. So you just keep going with your spec, obviously you pay them for it, it's not free, and they will basically deliver to whatever, whatever you want. So that's what happened with the color, that was all through Lotus Exclusive, as well as the gold, and a few other extra bits that I'll show you later on. We then got these uh, little sort of black bits in front of the light, which are special to the 380, so you can't get that on the Exige 350 or any of the other Exige models which I think looks fantastic. Two double black canards here. Um, great for aerodynamics, but also look fantastic and give the front this aggressive look. Really, really like these. Then if we come around the side, this was the first, well, the really, really bold thing that we went with the car. We were really hesitating. I was this close to getting black wheels. These are the lighter rims that you can get from Lotus, again, for the 380. Um, you can also get them on the 350 and a Vora 410 and a bunch of other cars. But we were gonna go with black and then I just saw a few vendors of it in gold and it's in the Mars gold as well, matching all of the pinstriping. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It gives it that sort of rally car look as well, which I love. We're on the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, which are the more track focused tires. So in the rain, they're a bit more slippery, but when you're on a dry day, on a dry track, on a dry country road, these will be absolutely fantastic. The front end grip on this car is just unbelievable. So being able to have those on the car is fantastic. Brand new as well, because obviously the car is completely brand new. So I think that's really nice. I went for black calipers. Again, I was hesitating on maybe we would match it to the color or have them in gold, but I think in black it works nicely. It's not too contrasting. I thought it would be maybe too many colors um, if we put these in a color as in, in you know, different color or even the matching paint. Uh, from the car, so we ended up going with black. I think that looks really nice. But then a few little things like the 380 Sport logo here. Everything is in stickers because that saves a few extra grams. This car is all about lightweight, so little things like this do make small differences. So we've got a 380 Sport sticker here. Down here we've got these side skirts, which again are like the uh, front splitter. Full carbon fiber with the Mars Gold pinstripes. Uh, again, which just adds something to the side of the car, which I absolutely love. And these, again, 380 only in carbon fiber. Gold wing mirrors, part of the accent package as well. Uh, painted on the, at least these were just uh, plastic, so they weren't actually painted. And you can see really the reflection of the metallic paint in the gold. So that looks, I think, really nice. It's one of my favorite touches of the whole accent package. Most 380s also come with a matte black roof. Um, and I ended up deciding to go with the body colored roof. So you can get this as part of the full carbon package in carbon, um, which is the package that I ended up getting, but we decided to paint it instead because I think it completes the car a bit more, which is something, I know it's a completely different range of cars, but that I saw first on the LaFerrari, because they were all popping out with these, you know, you know, red cars or blue cars with the black roof. And I thought it broke up the lines a bit and I much preferred it when they had the, uh, the body colored roof as well. So when I saw those cars, I thought, you know what, I would rather go with the body colored roof. It completes the whole thing. And I think it looks fantastic. Seeing it here for the first time like this has really sort of completed that whole, uh, that whole aspect for me. So I'm really happy we went with the body colored roof. We then got these air vents here, which continue the Mars Gold uh, accent package. So this comes around here, we've got a little pinstripe again on that, again, adding to the, uh, to the whole look on the side of the cup. Round back, you've got the copper fire paint, which is beautiful around here. I really like the way it looks on the, from this angle of the car. And then back here, the engine cover. This is an option actually. So you, you have all the carbon from the 380, but this is an extra option along with the roof. Um, full carbon fiber for this, again, with the weave continuing from the accent package, uh, for, sorry, from the access panel in front which looks fantastic. This is one of my favorite bits, because this, you can have it in, um, in a different material, which is not carbon fiber, uh, but I think having that in carbon, is just a massive slab of carbon on the back, and I, I love the way it looks. Full carbon wing as well. With the accent package, you get the struts in the, the, the color you chose for your accent package, so in this case, the Mars Gold again, which again, I, I just think looks fantastic from the back. I love the way that the wing just makes the rear look big. It's got a big booty, this car. <laughs> And then that will continue, so you might need to spin around all the way over here, Josh. We've got matte black on this bit here, so for the 380 it's different. On the 350 and other cars there are actually twin lights like this, so both of these lights are the same, whereas here they've replaced it to save weight, amongst other reasons, with a single smaller light, which I really like. I think it looks good, but obviously I'm slightly biased. Matte black, and then the Lotus logo in Mars Gold as well, but that's actually a sticker, again, like the logo in front. To save weight, that is all a sticker, but I love it in gold, it sort of adds this, if you're following it from behind, it will show you that the car is uh, copper fire and Mars gold. 
And then down here you've got the diffuser, full carbon as well, which looks fantastic. I really, really like the way this looks with the parking sensors, which is another option um, that, that we ended up going for because obviously you can't see too much out of the back with those, uh, with those slats. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's there and then you've got the pinstripes down here as well um, in the Mars Gold. And I mean, that's pretty much all on the exterior. I think it's a fantastic looking car. I mean, I'm biased, this is what I really like. But uh, yeah, I really like it. The few bits that are actually really special about this car that aren't on any other Exist 380s, the wheels in gold, that's very Lotus exclusive. So those are the things that took a while to arrive as well and are, are pretty special on this car. And I don't think another one's been done with the um, colored roof, the painted roof, and the full carbon uh, engine cover. And then another thing which you'll see on the interior, this is the first car and only one to have the full Alcantara steering wheel, which is something I really wanted because I'm a massive fan of Alcantara. So on that note, let's jump in. Central locking, let's unlock the car. And jump in. So a few options I've gone for. One of my favorite things, uh, these which are an optional extra are the um, Access, no, not access panels, what are they? The sills, the, sills, the door sills, that's what they're called. <laughs> Full carbon fiber. I think you need to have these, not only do they look cool, they make it easier to slide in because they're not as grippy as the other ones, and they also add about a centimeter to the width of uh, this entrance here, so it makes it easier to get into the car. So I might hop in, and if you, Josh, swing on the other end, and then I'll show them through the, the whole interior. Perfect, come on in. In we go. I'm gonna close this door. Inside, you'll see there's a lot of the Mars Gold. So the carbon seats, which are actually standard with the Exige 380, they save, I think it's six kilos a seat. They save a lot of weight anyways, compared to the normal ones. And then, so the spec I went for, we were gonna do a full beige interior to match the gold, kind of, but then I just got put off at the last second and ended up going for this black. So there's leather on the top part of the seat and then Alcantara in the middle. As I mentioned earlier, you got Alcantara all around the steering wheel, which is really, really nice. And it's a properly soft Alcantara as well. And then obviously the main key bit are all of the gold accents, which you guys would have seen in the video way back when I showed how this car was built. The link will be somewhere up there. Uh, the gold stitching. So everything is gold stitched. We've got the gold on these, uh, the harness sort of holes on, on, the, on the seat and the gold Lotus logos. The stitching is literally everywhere. So up here, even on this grab handle, there's gold stitching. It's all hand stitched here at Lotus. Um, and this is obviously another Lotus exclusive option to have the gold stitching rather than just black or white stitching. Um, and it's even continued everywhere, even onto the, the window um, controls. It's all gold which is absolutely lovely. Then, I went for the manual gearbox, which on the 380 is this stunning uh, open-gated shifter, which does take a while to break in at first. They were telling me at first it's, you know, you need to really get through the gears for the first three to 400 miles to break it in. Obviously you need to break the engine in and the brakes in as well, so we're not gonna be able to push this car too hard at first. Um, and then, yeah, little things like here, this is part of the access, a uh, little, little bit access package, the, Accent. Accent. That's the word <laughs> I'm looking for. The accent package. All of the Mars Gold on the interior. So this surround uh, for the gearbox. This is all, all in Mars Gold. You then got up here around the air conditioning controls. And you got your buttons here. You obviously got the temperature, your fan speed, and where you want the air to go. Uh, your, your within the car cycle button and your AC buttons on there, which again, little things. It's a, whole, it's a new design to what I had in the Elise with more quality feeling buttons. I mean, obviously as you move up the, the, the model range, things get more quality. Then got this new Clarion sound system, um, which is also an option. So that's an optional extra to have the two front speakers. To save weight, they delete the back speakers, but I think I might add a subwoofer in the back to make uh, the sound system a little bit better. But this is a whole new system with this sort of funky toggle head in the middle, um, which I haven't yet used. I have no idea how to use it, but that was an optional extra that I thought I'd go for because we will do a fair amount of road trips in this car. So yeah. I figured it's important to have a decent sound system. On top, the leather continues. Um, so you got this sort of, most of it around is this plasticky um, feeling stuff, which isn't leather, but it, no options I asked and there's no way to have that all in leather. But above the air vents and around the driver's area, it's all leather, again, with the gold stitching. Around on this side here, I have the engine start button with the sport and race modes. So when you put it into sport mode, it lets you, it, first of all, it opens the valves in the exhaust, which sounds unbelievable, makes a massive difference. Uh, and it lets you have a little bit of slip, but not too much, and puts the suspension in a slightly sportier mode, throttle response, steering, all that stuff. 
when you put it in race however it doesn't allow you really to have any slip that's purely the the track mode where we'll see how much grip there is on the track uh, judging by the weather judging by how greasy the track is and all that stuff and we'll literally just get you out of the corner as fast as you can with no slips and that's for the lap times you put it into race mode that has the exhaust valves open as well but if you press and hold race mode that's when you switch traction control off and under that are all of the light settings. Another option I went for actually, which is something I'm very, very happy I went for, is the full carpet. So it's an extra sound insulation. So down here, normally, all of this is all just bare aluminium, which is because you're straight to the chassis. So this right here is the chassis. And um, it, it just adds it an extra, it adds an extra sort of quality feel to the car with all of these carpets. And it also makes it more usable for long trips and stuff like that. So that's another option I went for. Um, the only options that this car does not have are this thing called the track package, I think it's called, which is where you can adjust your suspension and you get an extra roll cage. But that's really, I mean, it's, first of all, it's very, very expensive and it's only if you're basically going to use this car as only a track car, uh, which obviously I'm not going to do. So I didn't see the point in getting that option. And the second one is the titanium exhaust, which I considered, but I think it's around about the £5,000 mark. And I considered doing the exhaust, but then they told me it doesn't really change the noise. All it changes is the weight of the car. And again, because this car won't be doing that, I mean, it will be on tracks, but not that much. I didn't see the benefit, I think it's 22 kilos, of uh, you know paying that much just to get the, the weight off. So it won't change the sound that much. And who knows, maybe in the future, I will change the exhaust. I was planning on changing it straight away, but since I've driven this a bit more and I heard my one in the collection video, I don't think it needs an exhaust for at least a few months. Um, so yeah, that's the, the, those are the only two options that this car does not have, uh, purely because I didn't see the point in them and they were, they were very expensive. Higher spec car, right? Yeah, higher spec one out there, I think. So pretty special um, with all of the options. It's absolutely unbelievable. I love this Alcantara steering wheel. This is something I really pushed to have through Lotus, Lotus Exclusive. And I think it only arrived, it was the last thing to arrive that was fitted to the car. Uh, things like, Cruise control will make a big difference um, for, for long trips. That's something I went for. I mean, that wasn't too, too expensive in the end. It was like a couple hundred quid. So I figured that's something we will use a lot. So might as well go for that. And yeah, so basically I've gotten the Exige 380 and I've gone for a bit of a cruiser spec. So it's a spec that would be nice for long trips, but it keeps sort of the sporty aspect of this car. So with the manual and all of that. So I think it's the best of both worlds. And I'm just so chuffed with the color and how it looks. So it's absolutely... I, I just can't even describe how grateful I am to be in a position where this happens because I realize how lucky I am to be able to have access to one of these cars. I mean, it's something I've dreamt of my whole life and so many people dream of doing so. Something I really don't take for granted and that I, uh, I'm going to cherish every, every single day I spend with this car. So I'm just so, so happy to be in this position. And yeah, I just can't wait to get started. There we go. I mean, that's basically the spec of my Lotus Exige 380. If you guys have any more questions about anything, please post them in the comment section down below and I'll try and answer as many as possible. And yeah, overall, just thank you so much for, again, I know I keep saying it, but thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity. I do not take this for granted. And this car is going to go on many adventures. The next video is going to be the one I am most excited about, which is the first drive video, which I cannot wait for. So I think we're going to get shooting that, and that will be the next video up on the channel. Um, I'm so excited about this car. Josh, I know you're excited. I'm very the Lotus excited. guys are excited. Archie's here. He's excited as well. So yeah, overall, I just can't wait to, to get going with this. So lots of things to do still. It's going to go for PPF. We're going to film that because I want to protect this gorgeous paint color and uh, yeah, just keep going with the car. So. Thank you so much for watching as per usual. If you aren't already, please remember to subscribe because there's gonna be plenty more videos with this car and others in the very near future. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Quick cat saying it, Saturday in the mouth. Snow Julia.